What's up? I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be talking about my job as an IT support specialist and what I specifically do in this job and how we handle this work from home situation now that we have this pandemic. So recently, I have posted a day in a live video working from home and I got this comment asking if I can shed some light and how we handle user support now that we are all working from home, what the common issues that we encounter are. So in this video, I will be addressing and answering all that questions. So if you are interested in knowing all of this and anything that has to do with IT support, especially now that we are working from home, please keep on watching and also if you have have any comments or questions that you want me to answer for the next video please feel free to put them down in the comment section below so before I dive into the questions and the details and what I do in IT support let me just give you a little background and overview of this job position so this position is officially called IT support specialist and I work for a financial tech company that creates trading software for different kinds of users so the job description for this role is to provide the company's broad range of IT needs, which includes end-user support, um, asset management of inventory, hardware, software, and systems, manage internal systems and networks, create and maintain documentation for supported systems, and other technical responsibilities. Okay, so now let's move on to the questions from the comment. And the first question is, can you shed some light on how you deal with user issues from home? So in IT, we are so used to working hands-on, working in the office, working with the users in person. Now that we are all working from home during this pandemic, it has been more challenging to do user support, just to help people uh, with troubleshooting remotely. Luckily for my company, almost everything is virtualized and can be accessed through VPN. About 90% I can say is virtualized. So everything, almost everything can be done uh, remotely anywhere you are as long as you have internet connection and VPN connection. So that's good for us that are working from home. So now it just depends on the user. I would say I would handle, I handle it differently depending on the users. So since we are a tech company, uh, we have a lot of users that are really technically proficient because they are developers, they are software engineers or other kinds of uh, engineers. So I handle them, I handle issues with them differently because those people are already uh, technical, technically advanced. So I can just send them instructions, I can send them wiki pages, articles on what to do to resolve a problem, and they can just do it themselves. So it's easier to um, deal with those kind of users. So for those users that are not technically proficient or advanced, they are the ones that are more challenging to help remotely because sometimes they can't even explain very well. They can't identify or describe the issue and they will just say something isn't working or this is not working. So the first thing I do is I ask them very specific questions to help narrow down or identify the issue. Some questions that you can ask them is, was this working before or did it stop working? Because that way you can identify if they would need additional access to a system. So that would uh, help resolve or identify the issue at least. Sometimes I also ask for screenshots or error messages if they see something popping up when something stopped working. That way I'm able to identify uh, how to resolve an issue just by looking at the error message. Sometimes screenshots and error messages are not enough 
sometimes they don't tell you the whole picture of what's going on so i would ask the user if they could jump in a phone call or a video call session with me so that they could explain and express themselves better compared to chatting so this is also a great way to see what is going on uh with the issues that they are having and normally i would ask them to go on a video uh call with me through uh hangouts because there is a shared screen feature there and I could just ask them to share their screen and present and show me what's going on. That way I have a better visual and a better idea on what's going on because I can see it. So if the screenshot, error messages, phone call, video call, screen sharing is not enough for me to resolve the issue with the user, I now ask the user if I can remote into their machine or device so I could control it. That way it uh, helps me see things better and figure out how to fix the stuff better it feels like i am working on the machine itself hands-on so that's the last thing that i do and 100 percent it works all the time so for this uh remote control we use bomb guard session that's what we have been using to just remote in and control the pc or the device for the user and it works most of the time so those are the ways that I handle user issues working from home. So let's move on now to the next question. What are the common issues that you encounter working from home? So I have listed around four common issues that we always encounter when we started working from home. So the very first one is VPN issue. So in our company, VPN is very, very important because without VPN, you're not uh, able to connect to any of the internal networks, any of the corporate networks that you would need to do your job. So if you're not connected to VPN and you only have internet connection, I think you only have access to Slack, to emails, or whatever it is that's Google related. So basically, you can't do your job without VPN connection. And most of the time, people reach out to us that they are not able to connect to VPN or they can't be authenticated in uh, VPN. So that's one of the very common issues because every day when you log in, you have to connect to the VPN in order to do your work. So if users are reporting VPN issues, we first check their passwords because if you enter the wrong uh, credentials, you won't be able to connect with VPN. Then we also check the software version of the VPN client that they use if they need to update because, uh, that, because VPN won't work well too if they have the outdated version of it then we also check the service provider if they're having any um, internet connection issue that would also affect the vpn connectivity issue so the second common issue that we encounter working from home is that users report that they can't remote in or ssh to their virtual machines or vms since we started working from home we have moved almost everything to a virtual environment and just uh, discourage people from using physical uh, machines or equipment so it will be easier for us also to manage and access the virtual uh, machines so most of the time, uh, they r report that they are not able to SSH to it, maybe because the machines are powered down or it needs it got stuck with an update and needs to be rebooted. So they reach out for us with that. And sometimes it's as simple as they're not connected to the VPN. That's why they can't remote into the uh, machine or they got disconnected for some reason and, and they just need to reconnect and make sure that their VPN is connected. So that's another common issue with uh, working from home. Third common issue is the good old password reset. Every IT probably experienced someone reaching out because someone forgot to um, change their password or reset their password or their password expired. So that's also more common uh, issue for us and that's one of the easiest fixes because sometimes people just are lazy to uh, change their passwords on time that it expires and you just have to reset it and unlock their accounts. Another common issue that we have working from home is the work from home setup. 
since uh, people are working from home now, they are expected to have like a work from home setup and normally some people just ask IT to go to their desk and help them with their monitor setup, their docking station setup, whatever it is that they need. But now that everyone's working from home, they don't have anyone to call to to uh, be there in person to help them with their setup. So most of the time we get... Um, users reporting that their monitors are not displaying anything or the docking station isn't working the mouse keyboard is not working so basically we just walk them through whatever it is that they need so that is a more common issue working from home sometimes it's just as simple as you have to restart the machine so that everything will be refreshed and for monitors maybe you have changed the display input and you have to change it to however it is connected so that's one more common issue also okay so for the last question do you document your day to showcase to your boss that you are being productive working from home that's a very good question because sometimes you can't measure the productivity especially if everyone is working from home because you can't actually see them working but uh, for us in the company, we don't really have to document what we did every day to show our boss that we are productive because we have a ticketing system that um, basically opens all the issues that users are having. So that tracks down whatever um, issues and requests that they had and how we resolved it and how we worked on it. So that is uh, normally how my manager sees what we have been doing we also have this uh, jira board where we uh, track the projects that we have been doing if we also have uh, projects that we are doing for the long term that has uh, different subtasks under it the jira is showing the progress of every project that we have and we have completed so that also shows the productivity that we are doing also we have the daily scrum meeting so this is uh, a daily meeting where we talk about the stuff that we did the the issues that we have resolved or that we need help with so that also updates my boss in the stuff that we do and our progress with uh, the task that they ask us to do as well so if your company doesn't have all of that, the ticketing system, a scrum board, daily scrum meetings or daily meetings to talk about your productivity or document the issues that you had or track down any tasks that you did, uh, a tip that I could give you probably is just list it all down in a spreadsheet. Even a Google Sheet would probably work just uh, on a daily basis. List down all the important uh, stuff that you did, the progress that you made with it, if it was completed, just to show that you are being productive working from home. Just probably uh, write down or list down the user name, the issue that they have, and how you have resolved it or the resolution that would really help if you really want to show your boss that you have been productive okay so i hope this video helps you with all of your questions i hope this video answered and addressed the questions that you had and would also help you with your new job and your new position i wish you good luck and that you can adjust very well with the work from home environment i know it's really tough and challenging but it is worth it in the end and it will get easier so thank you so much for the comment and the questions if you have any more questions just feel free to put it down on the comment section below so i can address it and answer it as uh, much as i can and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something from it. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. And thank you so much for watching.